makes some pretty gutsy throws out there, doesn't he? Kittle made the catch. Kittle in the secondary 10. Runs over a man. Touchdown! Jimmy was on fire tonight. Garoppolo throws end zone for Bourne. And Kendrick Bourne will roll over and make the catch. He want to win every game. He lobs one down the sideline of the end zone. It is caught. Dante Pettis. I thought Jimmy played a hell of a game and um, it was his best game yet, probably. But now it's my go and I'm going to show you how to ball. This time I want it all. I can't stop. Good morning and happy Friday. Welcome to First Take. I'm Roz Goldenwood. I'm filling in for Molly Karam. And I'm here with Stephen A. and Max. Hey, What's hey. up, guys? What's up? No. How are you? Long time no uh, see. She's all right? Shh, I'm good. All right. All right, let's finish the week strong. A little festive look there. You know, I like absolutely. It. I mean, I like red. it. I didn't know Christmas had arrived so early. I'm bringing it in. Uh, I don't see good. any green. <laughs> they can't see under the table. Hopefully, I have a stand-up <laughs> later. I got, I got my I got Ankara you. for yeah. Nigeria yeah. underneath. Yeah. Absolutely. Way to, wait for me. Nice. way to work it. Way to work it. Representing. All right. All right. Also represent for the Bay Area, friends of mine, uh, the Warriors are down out there. The Raiders are leaving. But Bay Area sports fans have no fear. The 49ers are 8-0. On Thursday Night Football, the Niners held off the Cardinals 28-25 and enjoyed a spectacular offensive performance from Jimmy G, who totaled 317 yards and a career-high four touchdown passes. His tight end, George Kittle, had some high praise after the game. Yeah, he's pretty good. I don't know why people don't think he is. He makes some pretty gutsy throws out there, doesn't he? Goodness gracious. I can't say enough about just how he brings us along, you know, just whether it's on the sideline or in the huddle and, you know, the leadership that he has. But, you know, the fire that he, you know, has to just kind of just gets the people going. Um, and just to see him, you know, make those plays and, you know, allow him to get those people off his back that, you know, say, hey, hey, maybe he's not, you know, you know what we think he is. But, you know, everyone in this building or in our locker room knows what he is. It's just, it's fun to see that. All right, guys, the Niners and the Patriots remain the only unbeaten left in the league. So I'll start with you, Max. Do you believe in Jimmy G? Hell yeah. <laughs> Did people watch that game last night? Look, Jimmy G is now Stephen A. 16 and 2 as a starter spanning two different teams. And I'm not trying to hear, well, it's the defense. Clearly, they have a good defense in San Francisco. San Francisco couldn't buy a win before he got there. And as soon as he got hurt, they stopped winning. But with him, they almost never lose. He's 14-2 and two with the Niners now. The Niners, who are a terrible team without him, terrible, with him are 14-2. and 14-2, and two, he was 2-0 and oh with the Patriots. This is a guy who Bill Belichick, Bra Stephen A can say, well, it would have been a mistake if he would have gotten rid of Brady. After all, they went to three straight Super Bowls and won two. But Bill Belichick, who's watching these guys up close, said, that guy, never before with a backup, and replacing Brady. He goes, that guy's going to replace Tom Brady. To the point that Brady had to go to Kraft to the owner and say, yo, you know, your boy's trying to trade me. Can you get rid of Jimmy G for me? And traded Garoppolo out of town. And who wanted Garoppolo? Kyle Shanahan, who's one of the best offensive minds in the game, said, that's my guy. Stephen A., I bring up Rick Fox sometimes when we talk Jimmy G. Because something's telling. You know, basketball, the stats go up and down depending on your role on the team. Rick Fox played for Dean Smith. He was, he was drafted by Red Auerbach. He was then signed by Jerry West and played for Phil Jackson. Ask me if Rick Fox could play. I don't even need to see him. I know he could play, right? That's why he won championships. He wasn't simply a lucky player. He got a 